Howdy folks. So today we're going to be looking inside one of these things. So this is a Motorola surfboard, what's the exact model, SB5101M. So this is an old uh, Doxus 2.0 cable modem, um, completely useless, I mean no ISP really supports this anymore. Um, this was given to me, uh, just, I, I don't even know, I think they just wanted to get rid of it, didn't want to throw it out. So it's useless to me, so let's tear it to bits. So I've already uh, gone through the laborious process of figuring out how to open this. Um, they use the, the sticker as kind of sort of structural on the front there. Um, and you've got to split the label along the bottom. There's a single uh, Torx screw right there. And then the top sort of comes open. And the bottom, there's a, there's a hole right here. There's a clip we got to I don't really pry this. Mm. There we go. You can tell I don't care. So, just standard, uh, looks like ABS plastic. Can I find a date? No date, no revision number. Made by Foxconn though. Oh no, no, there's a date. Uh, seven zero ten ten. So I'm assuming twenty ten. Okay, so it's five years old. Some light pipes fell out of it for the front panel. And here's our board, and it is pretty boring. Uh, there's not a hell of a lot on this. So this looks sort of like uh, uh, I want to say four layer board, maybe. I don't see any layer markings on it anywhere. Um, so we've got the LEDs for the front, they're actually kind of beefy. Um, we've got a Broadcom um, QAM link, so obviously this is dedicated for modems because it's got you know quadrature amplitude modulation right on the right on the label. Um, I'm not going to bother looking up the parts on this. I don't care. Um, that's running at 24 megahertz. And this is probably just going to be some uh, some SD RAM for that. Um, there's some chip over here. I can't get any. Uh, I don't see any manufacturer marking on that. I'm not really, not really care. We've got uh, one cap here, which uh, that looks all the world like uh, Nippon Chemicon, so uh, that's nice. We've got obviously some sort of probably a switch mode power supply or uh, some sort of regulator controller there. Uh, again, I, I, can't, I can't see any manufacturer markings. Runs off 12 volts, so there's gonna be some core voltages, at least for this. So, obviously, uh, we've got our RF can here, and they, where they basically just take the, uh, they take the metal, they stick it up through some holes, and then they bend it, and that's how they do their supports. No screws, very cheap. As we should, oh wow, that one literally broke off. Holy crap. That's some cheap metal right there. So let's see if I can, see if I can get this open. Oh. Sorry if it's super loud when it hits the table. Don't do this if you ever want to, you know, put it back together again. Okay, now there's little bits of metal everywhere. So it's sectioned into two halves, which I sort of expected. So obviously our coax comes in here. Um, that looks like an uh, inductor of some kind. And we've got, we've got an oscillator here, a crystal, 16 megahertz for uh, this part here, which is another Broadcom, um, so that's that's probably a more analogy type part. Um, that's probably some sort of like a uh, ADC or a DSP or something, because it's got a clock, so there's di there's at least a digital component in it, and there's a sort of I, I would I'd say maybe more filtering on that side. Like you can see, there's a couple traces here that runs underneath that shield. 
In fact, that's the only trace, surface trace anyway, that runs under the shield. You can sort of see it forms a line of components. Uh, so you can sort of trace the signal path. Um, but basically, uh, nothing really interesting in it. All made in China. Probably not by Motorola, probably by Foxconn. And, uh, yeah. Completely obsolete. Built down to a cost. I mean, I remember, I remember I, when I used to use these, I don't use them anymore. They had, if you look at the case, there's this indentation on the top. And there used to be a button there. I remember the, the first revisions of these had a button, and you could push it, and the thing would go into, um, into standby. And I think they had, I think they had another LED on the bottom that was called uh, standby. Because you'd actually, or, or power or something, there, there was some special light that would come on, and you could actually, you could basically put the modem to sleep. Because, I, I, I don't know, I, they obviously took that feature out, which I think is kind of interesting. But yeah, cheap, cheap modems. Well, thanks for watching.